One of the most recognized parks of its kind in the state of Texas has become a bit of a trouble spot for the city of Garland. When the Boneyard opened back in October, it became the second largest skate park in the entire state. Aaron Jones tonight showing you the problem and also what police are doing about it. Longtime Garland resident Debbie Hales says ever since the Boneyard Skate Park opened behind her home, she's lost a lot of sleep. It gets so loud that three o'clock in the morning there's kids out there because we've even looked over our fence and can see kids playing out there and hollering, screaming, and there'll be even mothers and parents out there doing it. She says this isn't the only issue. The church has talked to us and said they've been broken in three times already. There's been shootings. We don't know where it's coming from. Garland police say they've received a number of calls for service at the skate park, recently making arrests for outstanding warrants, drug possession, and unlawful carrying of a weapon. They've been proactively patrolling the area. This is new activity because what you have currently is the weather is starting to change, correct? It's starting to get a little warmer, so more kids are going to the actual park. Parents and skaters believe only a small number of people are responsible for the illegal activity. It's just a bunch of kids doing stuff for attention and up here you won't see a lot of that my son is younger we come after school um, and on weekends during the day um, everybody's been really respectful as for Hale she wants to see panic phones and police out there watching it shutting it down making sure it's not shut down at regular time and tonight police stress if you're visiting the park and see any unusual activity don't be afraid to call they will respond in Garland, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.